Hello there folks, this is Ferenc on board again. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post different videos uh, well, with responses to different questions. The responses come based on my own um, well, let's call it introspection. So, do take them with a grain of salt. Okay, I'm not going to ever impose my points on others. I will just offer my points of view uh, on different topics regarding, well, introspection, spirituality, dreams, psychology, a bit of psychiatry, literally based on the wisdom that I have acquired. Now, wisdom is something that anyone can acquire and it's not necessarily that you have to be old of age. <coughs> okay, it, one does not need to be old of age to acquire wisdom. Usually it is acquired with age, yes, but wisdom also comes with doing things. And this video now shall be focused on the topic of truth. I have been asked in time, like, what is the truth and what do I believe about the truth? Now, the truth has always been something uh, either hidden or generally invented by people, because in a way, people need to believe in something. The funny thing is, it is much easier to believe in something else than, well, in yourself. That is why I can say that most people will find it much easier to kiss the ass of gods, for example, or any other invention, instead of actually trusting themselves. Now, belief is somewhat different than truth in a way because truth is something that is here to stay a belief is nothing else than a set of ideas or at least one idea that people will accept but without the necessity for proof so a belief is not necessarily true however society and well the world functions based on the principle that other people simply want to become your truth they simply want to become your truth because, well, that's how they are important. So, the truth is something that people will usually feed their energy on, because they will be very attentive to it, naturally speaking even. And where you pay your attention, that's where also your energy will go. Where attention goes, energy flows. To present this in a simpler way, have you ever seen or well, being around people who simply drain you, like literally drain you, you feel so sleepy around. Most likely teachers in school and, you know, different other persons, could be your parents, could be relatives, could be friends. It happens because you're giving them your attention and, well, your attention also guides your energy towards them. So that is why they are somewhat depleting you of your energy. While you're focusing on something, in a way, it's like accepting that thing as a personal truth, okay? The truth is something very different, and one of the simplest ideas to put it is that the truth is never ever going to be taught, because the point is, someone actually has to find their truth, okay? And if you're wondering what is your truth, well, actually you have asked one of the most complex, but uh, let's say real questions in the world, because everyone came here to experience their own truths, okay? That is why people who seek the truth outside, usually they will be misfulfilled. They won't be having too much of a success in finding their own truths outside. People, especially now with the lockdown, have started becoming more and more introspective in a way because they finally have nowhere else to go. It was very important to realize the differences in between, you know, just following what other people say and actually starting to ask some serious questions about how and why different things go and, well, what is the structure of different layers of existence and consciousness beyond what most of us believed there is, okay? Ever since I was young, I know I was gifted with being introspective, always breaking down things. Now, it is also the turn of people, and, well, I will be sharing as much as I can, and I will uh, usually be sharing almost every day. There will be periods of time when I might take a break, as I have taken recently, to work even more towards my video games demo. 
Now, the point about the truth is it always will differ per individual. Now, there is something that also people will not be taught in the sense of truth is always relative. There are very few truths that can actually be taken into account as universal, but people have forgotten that universal means something that applies to the whole universe. Okay? The point is a universal truth is something that applies to the whole universe. And the only such truths that uh, there can be called so, I would say, would be the mathematical truths, in a way, like strictly mathematical rules, okay, like 5 plus 5 will always equal 10. Now, in the part of the universe that we know, 5 plus 5 will be equal to 10, probably in other dimensions or in, who knows, maybe other parts of the universe, 5 plus 5 may not necessarily equal 10. So even mathematics might be somewhat wrong. Who knows, maybe around black holes, usually physics go a bit more awkward, and, you know, there are so many things that people believe in, but, you know, they never question those. Like, how come people can barely translate, you know, or actually find a definition for the entire process of creation, okay, in its entirety, okay, and what creation is and what life is, but the question is, how come we don't know what creation is, but we know how a creator actually looks like? Because each religion kind of has a different way of portraying their own gods, and goddesses, of course. And, well, there are many, many more such aspects, like, you know, we barely know how our brain works, but we have psychology and psychiatry that, you know, they actually tell people they are broken because they don't work like the, uh, you know, normal people. Right? And what is actually normal? Because there is no such thing as normal. The only way one can be normal is by being their own self. The principle behind uh, personal development, for example, is creating a personality. Because development means creating something from scratch. That is why you have game development, software development. It's always creating something from scratch. And personal comes from persona in Latin, which means a face mask okay a mask a character an actor okay the persona was basically a character that the actors would have to embody for the performance to be successful right for the performance to exist there needs to be actors and actors have to play characters and characters were called personas and now you have personal development so basically it's nothing else than how to accept yourself being shaped by society the way that you want okay because that's, in the end, what control means. Control would be defined as breaking people apart into as many pieces possible and then putting them back like Legos, okay? You know, the Lego, right? And putting them back in a way that functions such that it fits you, right? It's like when you want to control people, you have to change their beliefs, you have to change literally everything about them so that they function in a way that fits you. Right? And that is the truth of some people, okay? Because the truth will always be relative. Now, another thing about this is simple. If I give you five apples and five oranges, five plus five equals ten. So, in any given case, at least in our at our level of consciousness and, well, in this known part of the universe, well, you will receive, uh, you have received ten items, okay? Five plus five equals ten. But that's only the mathematically logical approach. What if I give you five apples and five oranges? The question is, how many apples do you have? Okay, you have received five plus five equals ten. But ten in this case is irrelevant, because the question regarded only the number of apples. Or if I asked how many melons, okay? You received ten items because five plus five equals ten, but the answer is not ten in this case. Okay, the answer would be zero. This is something that can be a bit tricky because most people will say that no, it doesn't count, but it can actually show how much people's minds can be hardwired on the principle of always follow the pattern, always follow the so-called truth, but the truth is only what others settle, right? Just like schools. Schools set a lot of pseudo-truths in people's minds that they just follow blindly and, well, the question is, how come people are so miserable in their lives? And every time people would ask something about spirituality, 
more or less you can actually feel a fear and even hatred of this god that apparently doesn't have anything else to do than simply watch people and then you know mercilessly judge them after people die you can actually see that you can actually feel that in most people so the truth is if you don't know what your truth is we came here to experience it and the only way you will experience it ever is by becoming more introspective more in tune with yourself because that is where all your truth has been okay that is the spiritual meaning of the coronavirus infection for example okay and well there are other things to discuss about the truth but hopefully i touched a bit of the at the surface so if you ever have problems just feel free to ask me in the comment section if you like the type of content that i am bringing feel free to like and subscribe and at least share it with others so that we help together raise the frequency and awareness of people on the planet. What else can I say? Well, keep up doing the work that you're doing. You are loved and appreciated. And as usual, take, care, take, take great care. Uh, whatever you are doing is the best you can at the right pace for you. Ferenjan Board signing out.